Hey, good morning, fourth grade. Today, we are going to be starting a new project. But before we get started, we're going to do a really quick review on the warm colors and the cool colors. So I'm just going to divide the small piece of paper here. And I'm going to write warm on one side, cool on the other side. Warm colors are fire colors, red, yellow, and orange. Red yellow and oops not red again and orange they are fire colors they remind us of heat they remind us of the sun they are very bold colors they are very energetic colors they are here to catch your attention quickly that's why caution signs are yellow stop signs are red they catch your attention quickly the cool colors are water colors and the sky colors. So blue, green, and purple. So blue, green, and purple. Another name for purple is a violet. So if you're looking in your crayon box or looking at your markers and you don't quite know which one it is, it just says violet on the side. It's just a fancy name for purple. The cool colors are very calming colors. They are very peaceful colors. They make you feel relaxed. So if I wanted to go home tonight and repaint my bedroom a very calming color, I would probably not paint it a bright fire engine red. What I would do is I would maybe paint it a light blue or even a light green because that is going to be a more peaceful environment for you to sleep in. So now that we have done a quick review of the warm colors and the cool colors, we are going to be starting a new project using both of those color schemes. So I'm gonna put this to the side and I'm gonna show you what the project looks like once it's all finished and then I'm gonna break it down for you step by step. This is probably going to be a three week project, just like the graffiti names, this will last three weeks. So this is the project that we are going to be working on. The moon side is going to be your cool colors. The sun side is going to be your warm colors. This is a very bright and energetic side. This is a very calming and peaceful side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this down for you step by step. If I go too fast, just pause the video, okay? You can work at your own speed. So what you're gonna need for this project is a white piece of paper, and I will give that to your classroom teacher so you can get that from them, a circle to trace. And if you don't have a circle to trace, then you can just do it by hand, just freehand it, just try your best. Um, you can use anything in your house that's a circle. If you have a big bowl, you can trace around that. Um, a butter lid, you can trace around that. A paper plate, it's up to you. If you can find a circle, you can trace around it. You also need a pencil and a black marker. If you don't have a Sharpie available to you, well, then you can just use a regular black washable marker. So I'll put that right there. I am going to start with Sharpie, just because I want you to be able to see it a little bit better than if I were to start with pencil. But you will start with pencil just in case you make a mistake. Hopefully, I don't make one. Okay, so I'm going to hold my stencil down really tight so it doesn't move. And I'm going to trace around it all the way. Okay, so once I've done that, then I want to divide the circle in half. So half of it's the moon, half of it's the sun. So to do that, I need to add a curved line for the nose and then another curved line for the bottom of the mouth. So I'm just gonna go here in the middle, curved line down and do a little nose for the moon and then another curved line down, just like that, okay? So now I have the moon on one side, the sun on the other. So I want to go in and divide my background in half. So I'm just gonna go to the top of the moon and draw a straight line up. The bottom of the moon can draw a straight line down. So now my paper has two halves, okay? The next thing I'm going to do is add the details to the moon's face and the sun's face. 
So the moon, I'm going to make it look like it's kind of sleeping, like it's very calm. It's got its eyes closed. I'm going to add some eyelashes. And then I'm going to come over to the sun side, and I want the eyeball to be open. So when you do an eye, it just kind of looks like a little bit like a lemon shape. And then you can go in and add like the eyelid on the inside circle. And I like to add a really small circle to leave white so that it looks like it's shining. And then maybe I want to go in and add some eyelashes. There we go. And then I'm going to just color in that middle circle. Okay, so you can still kind of see that little shine mark there. The next thing I'm going to do is add a smile or some type of mouth that goes across both the moon and the sun. So I'm just going to do a really simple mouth. That connects just like that, okay? Once that's done, then I'm going to add the rays that come off of the sun. So it's just like a triangle. And you can make these however you want. This is just the way that I'm doing it. If you have a different idea, go for it. And remember, you're starting with pencil and then you will trace with Sharpie. Okay, so there's the sun side. Now I'm just gonna work on the sun side for right now. I'm just gonna leave the moon side alone. I'm going to go in and add some details to this side. So I'm gonna add some lines that come out so I can add some different sections to my background. Maybe I wanna add some polka dots. Okay, and then I'm going to come over here to this side and I'm going to add some clouds just to fill up that background. Then maybe I'm going to add like some shooting stars. Maybe some more polka dots to fill it in so it looks like little stars that are shining. Okay, so once you have all of this traced with a Sharpie, that's where I want you to stop for day one. Okay, so day one, you're going to draw the moon, draw the sun. You're gonna trace everything in the background with a black marker. So it looks just like a coloring book, okay? So this is where you will stop for day one. Take a photo of it on your Chromebook, upload it to Google Classroom so I can check your work. And then if you want, you can move on to next week and do the next step. I'm gonna pause the video, then continue and show you next week's steps. So stay tuned.